The plow is a great stock for anyone. For beginners, it's one of the easier ones to learn. Advanced skaters can use a plow stop to trigger a power slide. Let's start with the beginners. Keep your legs far apart. Both skates shall be on the inside edge. Try to push out a little with your heels. Careful! If your legs are too close or you are not bending your knees enough, your skates will move inward and you will fall like this. When you get more comfortable, try controlling the speed on a small descent. Stay safe. Find a place like here with no cars and where you can just roll onto a flat area if you fail to control speed. As you improve, you'll find that the plow is a very effective stop. However, you may experience that one skate starts vibrating. At this point, it's better to trigger a slide. I think you'll achieve that by staying a bit lower and pushing more with the heel. Once you reach this level, the plow stop is a really effective and fast stop even at high speeds. I want to thank my viewers, Hyper Supernova, Belal Mansour, Budus2 and Stefan Daniels for making me aware of this stopping technique. Before they taught me otherwise, I was of the false perception that the plow were a terrible stop for beginners who hadn't learned how to use the heel brake yet. But after reading their comments, I got curious, watched tutorials and decided to give it a try myself. As this was something new to me today, for the first few tries the stop wasn't much to brag about. If I had done this downhill, I would not have been able to control speed. Or I would, but only after switching to another stop and saved myself that way. This mistake of having the toes collide I well made on purpose. When else will I have an excuse to dive into a pile of snow? I did see other tutorials warn about this though, and it does make sense. And this is why it's super important to practice at low speeds in a safe environment. Wrist guards and knee protection are recommended. I also worry about the impact it can have on joints. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but if you mess up somehow, the ankles, knees and hips are in a vulnerable position. I constantly focus on not having my weight on my toes. I try to keep it over the third wheel. When I noticed a skate vibrating, I understood a slide was possible. Vibration is actually just a skate getting stuck, jumping, getting stuck again and so on, over and over again, very fast. By tweaking the physics a bit, like I think steeper angle and more push throughout the heel, the skate slides instead. Learning to control this is one of the most satisfying things a skater can do. And that's just what I did today. I just discovered a new way to stop. I think if I learned to even rotate some more and had a sliding skate in front, it's called a magic stop or UFO stop. Or I don't know, maybe just call them power stop or power slide. Anyway, what matters is that plow is a great way of triggering a slide. With both skates on the inside edge, this enables an entire new family of slide stops. What is your experience? I really appreciate your feedback, and today really proves that. I'll practice this a lot more and perhaps make proper tutorials for beginners and advanced skaters once I get a better hang on it. And as always, thank you for watching and subscribe for updates.